Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil Cold Veronica X. It's DJ Gamer Girl, Sana. So, the last episode, we. We got some progress done. We ended up finding the uh, indigo card. And unlocked a few things, thankfully. But there was one thing I ended up missing, and it's impeding my progress. So, I'm gonna go do that. I had to look it up after I wasted about 16 minutes of recording time going to a completely different area that I didn't need to. Which you won't see, thankfully. Because that was absolutely pointless, and oh my god. I also, uh, bought the brightness up a couple more ticks, so hopefully this is fine? Uh, it looks fine to me, but we'll see. Anyway. Where I got the army proof is where we need to go back to. There's a number, 1126. Okay, 1126. Got that? The bio-experiment removes finished ventilating. Mm-hmm, and now we can go there. Bye-bye. Don't think I'm gonna need to deal with you guys again. <sighs> Nearly chewed my ass. Okay, the doorknob is missing there. Okay. One, one, two. Boom. There we go. Nothing useful. He's already dead. Yes, he is. Ow. 
Am I gonna be doing this? I gotta go to the... Are you just my head, Dad? Because I th that literally startled me to the point where my headphones just moved back on my head. I'm not joking. Okay, um... Right, it was somewhere... It's actually like where I got the eagle thingy. Like right where I got the eagle thingy. The shield eagle thingy. Hi, Wormy. seen Steve in a while. I'm actually kind of legitimately a little bit worried about him. Oh, for God's sake. More progress. The gold key! We got the gold key! Back to the palace. Oh, there's... there's something back there. Come on in. Wait. Memorial plate. Something written on it. Dedicated to the training facility. Diorama, facility. There's a hole to put something in. It looks like shotgun shells. I want it. Anyway, now we gotta go back to the palace. Because we got the gold key. We got the gold key. I'm a happy girl right now. We got the gold key. We also gotta go, go past a couple of bander bitches. Bye, Wormy. Bye, Wormy. Nip! Nip! Oh! Oh! That almost hit me. Okay. I feel like that should have hit me, actually. But I'm not gonna complain.
Okie dokie. What do we have here? Oh, that's part of the thing I thought it was. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase, 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 whatever, according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as commemorative to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty... Veronica Ashford? Well, now I know why this game is called Code Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master had then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother Sir Arthur, and then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Incorporated. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father Sir Alexander succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance. Just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. And where is this vase? The memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Same child as the projector film. It's a message written onto the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy to reveal the true master. It's one below. Turn the button off! Turn the button off! Turn the button off! Okay. <laughs> I probably should have... Okay. Uh... Okay, all the buttons turned off. <sighs> so I was doing this all wrong. I switched. Two of them. That this what was supposed to be the second and third master. Vase? Is there something in the vase? Oh, wait! The picture turned into Alexia! Ah, so she's the true master.
Okay. Now. Now I have to go back to the private residence. Because what I just picked up is an important item for what I believe to be Alexia's room? Get in. I'll heal you. I'm in danger. don't want to end up having to do all that again, so I will save. Forget the red herb. Forget the red herb. Forget the red herb. Forget the red herb. Go 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 go. Get up. Excuse me while I get this. Put it in. I think put it in the one to Alfred's room.
Okay, well, I hate, at least I got that done and out of the way. I've got the music played. It's gone. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I know that that's where it's supposed to go. Am I missing something in Alexia's room? I can check just to be safe. I can't examine that anymore. It's still sealed. Huh. I'm gonna need to find the blue version of that ant. But I do need this music thing. I might have come back a little too early? Just a little? Maybe? Maybe not? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. We'll continue this in the next episode. Till then, this is the Game Girl signing off. Bye bye.